is up YouTube how's everybody out there doing today so as you can tell uh, I'm in a Camaro and it's actually the Camaro that we just finished up um, the heads cam uh, full exhaust system there's a car beside me trying to race me he won he won sorry guys so here's the situation this is how nice of a guy I am <laughs> so my customer Lewis his wife this is his car and in the last video of the video before you've seen that and that we just finished it up and, and stuff like that so she's pregnant right now and she wants her car back so we're actually driving her car all the way up to new york about a three hour road trip no big deal it's a sunday this video will probably go up tuesday wednesday something like that thursday i don't know something like that but um don't quote me on that guys but uh i figured i'd make a little video about basically dropping her car off to her letting her hear the exhaust seeing how she likes it and i'm hoping she does like it and then in the process and i'll be honest with you guys uh this is clickbait it was a clickbait title so don't be mad at me i had no choice i was i had to do a clickbait title on this because it was such a funny uh instance of how this is all working out so the original plan was he was going to come down with his 2015 ZL1 that made 800 plus horsepower. Drop that one off for the new clutch. I was gonna, and then he was gonna, then he was gonna take this one back home. Well, considering the fact that his wife is so prego right now and probably gonna pop any day or any minute, um, he was afraid of, of bringing her down here or coming all the way down here by himself, regardless of uh, what was going on, to pick the car up, drop one off, and then be, a, you know, three hours away from either the hospital or three hours away from his wife. Um, man, there's people just driving like slow idiots around here today. Like we got tractor trailers that are literally going 45 miles an hour, which is crazy. Like they need to like hurry up. So he didn't want to be, basically he didn't want to be away from his wife or have his wife be away from the hospital um, for that lengthy of, of a period of time. So what we worked out was, uh, you know, I would drive the car up, then I would pick up his 2015 ZL1 bring that back down, do the clutch, do the clutch in it, and then there's a few other things that are gonna be done at different shops with that car as well. Uh, so it's gonna stay down here for a while while those things are being done regardless. So we are basically on our way up there right now. I've got my kids with me, my older boys recording, younger boys in the back. So not only do they get to enjoy uh, the scenery of New York, yay, and uh, a drive up in a I guess this thing probably make about 550 horsepower to the wheels. Well, we'll just say a 500 horsepower car. And then they're coming back uh, in an 800 horsepower car, 900 horsepower car, uh, ZL1. So pretty exciting to be able to involve my children in some of this stuff as well. You know, be, they're able to drive these, these pretty cool, awesome cars and go on these little mini road trips uh, every now and again to different states. Uh, talking to customers or picking up cars either with my truck and trailer which I can't do tonight right now because my truck's down or um, you know driving a, a customer's vehicle back to them and then uh, coming home with another vehicle like this instance this doesn't happen all the time it's probably once a once in a once in a year occurrence possibly with a customer but uh, you know I'm doing this as a, as a good favor to him he's been a very awesome customer of mine a uh, very good guy and um, I figured what the heck you know I'm not doing anything uh, on this Sunday, it's going to be a pretty boring Sunday anyways, so why not do this for this guy and help him out a little bit, bring his wife's car back to him, pick his up and bring it back. So uh, we're going to be on the road here, we're going to get going up the highway guys. The reason why we're laughing right now, guys, is because she's driving like a nut, and we're in New York traffic, and I'm scared. Oh my God, we're gonna die. 
god. This is how New Yorkers drive. <laughs> Obviously, us Pennsylvanians don't drive like this. So. Oh my god, what are you, what are you doing? Is this, is this how you drive all the time? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> so, you were saying you like the clutch. Yeah, it's very comfortable. Oh, it feels good. We were like flying past traffic. He's <laughs> like cutting traffic off and stuff, just running around here like she owns the place. <laughs> I know it is. I can imagine it's nice for you to drive your car. Um, just don't kill me in the process, all right? I love life. <laughs> I got kids. I brought them with me. <laughs> Holy smokes. So how's she feel? It feels, it feels nice. It's smooth. It's good. good. That's why I said, like, on the way up here, I was very surprised how well it drove with this cam in it. Yeah. Very surprised. Yeah, it's, it's now you're gonna notice with this bigger cam, not a bigger cam, but a cam that's not stock, we'll put it that way. Mm -hmm. um, lower RPM is gonna, it's gonna be a little bit harder to drive. You know what I mean? Like okay. you wanna kind of keep it above that 1300 RPM range where you're just cruising around, unless you're going like highway six gear or something of that nature. Mm -hmm. But if you're uh, if you're slowing down, you're going way, way too slow and it's hitting like a thousand RPM, you're gonna probably wanna downshift at that point. You know, it's not like the old cam was. Uh, the power band's now been moved north a couple hundred RPM, and that's going to change the drivability down low. Okay. You know what I mean? So you'll you'll notice that, and I kind of seen you kind of notice that a little bit yeah. already. So that's why I wanted to explain that to you. Oh my God! <laughs> scaring the hell! You're scaring the hell out of me. <laughs> it's crazy. How she ride with the suspension, the BMR suspension? The whole up. thing actually feels really good. I thought so too. Yeah. It, it's very smooth. The whole car feels very smooth, very comfortable. Yeah, yeah. I was very surprised because usually when you put lowering springs on stuff and, and different you know shocks and everything, it kind of makes the ride rougher. Yeah. And uh, I mean, when you hit a bump or something, it's a little rough. But other than that, it's you know I thought it cruised up here very, very nice. And, I mean, it took me three and a half, three hours to get up here, so 150 miles. I mean, because that's that's what I had before, and that's what I really wanted mm -hmm. ultimately to keep it—the car that's nice Drivable. and super comfortable yeah, and smooth yeah. and, and good for that. But it's got some punch to it, and mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and uh, you can get up and go whenever you Watch want to get up and go. Stop that shoulder ahead. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm glad you you're happy with it so far. Yeah, <laughs> I know you're about the exhaust. How do you feel about the exhaust? Tell the truth. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure yet. I okay. Got to, got to feel it out a little bit. You're going to drive it around a little bit, put some miles on it, see it break in. Yeah. I, um, with the last one, I kind of liked when you would come to a stop. And it's, it would then yeah. give you a little bump. Yeah. And that was a, you just had a Flowmaster cat back on this, and that was it. Yeah. I don't even think it was a cat back. I think it was just Flowmaster axle back, is what was really on this. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it was on there. So. Yeah. Unfortunately, you know, with different exhaust systems, you're going to get different tones. But drive it around, see how you feel about it. That's a lot of big buildings right there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at all those big buildings. What's in them things? People. People. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, well, drive. To the traffic part of our town. Yeah, I can, I can tell. This is ridiculous. Get off the exit and turn around so we can go back. Yeah. So, yeah, I would say just drive it around. Let the exhaust system break in a good bit. Give it a give it a week or two or whatever. It's probably gonna take about that much for it to like all the packing to break in, and it might change. Like I said, it might get deeper. You might actually start enjoying it. Yeah. If you don't, obviously we can figure out what we can do about that then as well. You know what I mean? We could always maybe change out the mufflers or mm. take the cats off if you want it a little bit louder, a little bit more crackly. Um, you know. It's the growl that I like. Yeah. So much. Yeah. <laughs> But it's hard. It's now hard look at this. Say. Look at this. What is this all about? Yeah, it's causing all the holes up here. Unbelievable. <clears throat> that guy right there. Messing messing up life right here. <laughs> Alright, well, we're going to head back. My GoPro battery's starting to die. We're going to head back and uh, I guess that would be a nice little, that's a nice little review of the car for yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
I'm glad you're happy. I'm glad you're you're 99 happy so far. <laughs> Other than the exhaust system, which I did make a video about the exhaust system and the startup of this car, and everybody loved the exhaust system more on this than they did on the um, 17 ZL1 that we did. Oh, yeah? Yeah, everybody thought this exhaust was so just nice sounding, you know what I mean? Yeah, it does sound nice. It's, yeah. it's a little bit different from my other one, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. I just gotta let it grow on me a little bit. Uh, so well, like I said, if, if you don't like it, we'll. Oh, there's a bump. Yeah, well, you definitely feel the suspension on the bumps. Yeah. That's for sure. But cruising around flat ground with no bumps, you're okay. But, uh, yeah, I mean, if, obviously, if you are if you don't like it and you want it to be a little bit better, then, uh, well, oh, my God, you're so funny. Jesus, Lord. Any quarter of the I, you're scaring the hell out of me. I'm not going to lie right now. the roundabout, take the fourth exit on Hutchinson River Parkway Extension. I just, I, I'm having anxiety attacks. <laughs> oh my god. I forget what I was saying. I forget what I was saying. Oh my god. But like I was saying, yes, if, if the, if you don't, if you're not happy with the exhaust system and the exhaust system, you want something a little different, we'll go ahead and we'll mess around with it a little bit more. And, um, and uh, we'll see if we can get it to where you okay. do really, really, really like it. We'll yeah. But we'll see what happens. Give it some time. Let it grow on you a little bit. You might be, you might be happy. There's a tree. You're almost in a tree. <laughs> You're like in the middle of the road. Well, that's because there's obstacles. There's things on the sides of the roads and trees and all kinds of stuff. You gotta avoid them, you know. I've almost, I, you know, I would I, maybe hitting them might be a bad idea right now. Oh my god! See, then we're gonna hit some traffic. So. Yeah, we just wanted to catch up to the traffic. We're gonna hit. You gotta. <laughs> you know what I mean? Is that what we're doing? <laughs> you gotta take a moment to enjoy the car when you can. Oh my god! Just remember, no wide open throttle. It a mile. Feels like you're going about three quarter throttle. If this isn't a hell of a scary vlog, I don't know what will be. <laughs> this does not have ZL1 brakes on it. <laughs> I gotta go, guys. Here we go, traffic. I'll see you on the. I'll see you on the next part of the vlog. I gotta operate my passenger brake pedal down here, so uh, I'll be back. <laughs> All right, guys. We are giving this one away. And we're going to this one here, so we got, what do you think? 500 horsepower? What? 500 horsepower car? Yeah. Trading it for a 900 horsepower car. A22 uh, into the wheels. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back. We're in the 2015 ZL1. Um, he has a little bit of a laundry list for me to complete. So we're gonna do a clutch, and we're gonna do a few other things to this as well. We're currently going down the New Jersey Turnpike, we literally just got out of New York uh, a couple minutes ago, and uh, I have to say one thing. I, I love you New Yorkers, I really do, but your traffic sucks, guys. It sucks so terribly bad. Um, I hate it. I don't like it. I don't like driving up to New York. It's only when you get to, like, New York City area, and you have to go through New York City, and, like, not New York City, but the outskirts of New York City, and into uh, New Rochelle is where we went. Um, in between there, that's where it kind of sucks. Uh, the traffic just blows so bad. I hate it. I hate it so much. So I am very happy that we are uh, back through that traffic again. And we're out of New York. We're in Jersey. Dirty Jersey, guys. We're in Dirty Jersey right now. And uh, like I said, we're on our way back to the shop. So we're going to go ahead and uh, pretty much just drive this baby back to the shop and take our time. We'll probably have to fill up on some fuel. This thing is on 100% E85 right now. So uh, it's probably going to run out of uh, fuel pretty quick here, so um, we'll have to stop and get some fuel for her. But other than that, we're just going to keep going. Should be home in about a couple hours, and uh, we'll do a little update and uh, outro when we get back to the shop, guys. See you in a little bit. All right, guys, we are back at the shop. It's been a long day. How long has it been? Pretty long. <laughs> it's been a long day. Seven hours of driving. We left here at like 9 o'clock in the morning. And it is, uh, 
It is just about 9 o'clock at night, 8.30 at night. So pretty much a 12-hour day. Um, car's back in the shop, safe and sound. We have a whole bunch of little things we're going to do to it, including the clutch, just like I talked about. Other than that, guys, I'm tired. My kids are tired. The other one's locked out of the shop. <laughs> My kids are tired. I'm tired. We're going to head home and uh, get some rest and then be back here and here tomorrow morning to uh, start working on that thing there. If you enjoyed the nice little video of us dropping off the orange Camaro and picking up this beautiful gray ZL1 Camaro, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Instagram, Diablo Formula Racing. Facebook is also Diablo Formula Racing.